Welcome back. My name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches. And today I have another property tour for you. We're going to check out a beautiful townhome located in the Pine subdivision in Green Acres. To all my subscribers, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches. And my job is to help you find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether it's a multi-million dollar home on the beach or a beautiful town home. I would love if you subscribe to the channel so you guys can stay updated on new neighborhoods and property. Just a little bit of information about the Pines community as a whole. It's what you call a quad townhome community. Now, what that means is you have four townhomes placed together, almost like a Lego. Think of it like that. Now, each of these townhomes have their own private gated patio as well to offer a little bit of privacy from your neighbors. Now, the layout, you have two bedroom townhomes as well as three bedroom townhomes. The one we're going to tour today is a three bedroom, two and a half townhome, so you can get adjusted the size of one of the larger models. The neighborhood also includes four lakes, which can be perfect for walking if you need to do that as well. And they also have no pet breed restrictions, meaning if you have a large dog that's kind of frowned upon in other neighborhoods, they will allow the dog to be present in the neighborhood without any pet restrictions, which is a great information to know as well. Now the location, you're centrally located between Lake Worth and Wellington, Florida. You're about 15 minutes away from the Palm Beach International Airport. If you need to travel a lot, that's great information to know as well. And if you commute either down south, whether to Boca or Lauderdale, Miami, you're, not, you're maybe about 10 minutes away from I-95 as well. So without further ado, let's get to the property tour. Let's go. the living room you see ample space where you can put your TV on a number of different walls here you can either go against this wall here or this wall here if you have a small setup but you do have access to the patio from the living room to the outdoor patio as well that other sliding glass door is the kitchen where we'll check out in a second everything has been upgraded in this home as well so split level townhome, three bedrooms, too bad. First floor laundry unit, as well as the guest bath. So updated appliances, as well as updated baths. Two and a half baths. That is the half bath downstairs for your guests. Dining room, right off the kitchen. You see the kitchen, they went with a different look here with the all black appliances. Or actually, these aren't all black, these are gray. Yeah, this is actually rare. You don't see gray appliances in houses. Well, that's a new one. Now in this home, you do have a gas dryer and a gas stove. Kitchen countertops are granite and the drawers are soft, soft clothes as well. So you do have soft clothes, drawers, granite countertops in the kitchen. Now the bathrooms, you're gonna have quartz, which is, which is nice. Above cabinet lighting as well in your kitchen. So that'll provide a nice ambient light as well microwave above all samsung appliances almost a farmhouse sink but the sink is deep nonetheless not quite a farmhouse but looks nice now let us go check out the second level now before we check out the second level, what I do like is that new updated light fixture that they have going here. So this will be perfect if you have a small starter family, bachelor guy looking for your first home. This would be nice. So I like that. Upstairs, you're gonna have three bedrooms and two baths. 
So here you have your additional storage. No, oh, yeah. You have your additional storage as well as for your water heater as well. So for your additional towels, whatever else you like to keep in your storage closet. So to the left here, we're gonna check out the first of two bathrooms. So frameless shower, same as downstairs with a symmetrical look. Quartz countertop, as well as downstairs, frameless shower, updated, everything has been renovated, like I said before in the description. First of bedroom number one of three. with the lake view. Right. So directly to my right is the bedroom number two. Same concept. See the closets here. Lake view as well, as well as a view of the courtyard downstairs. Right. Next, we're gonna check out the primary suite. The largest of three bedrooms. So you do have a double closet, closet one, closet two. Not a lot of closet space here, but you do have dual closet spaces. You do have a small balcony off the primary suite as well, with a lake view, as well as a view of the courtyard. So this primary suite is pretty large. You can easily fit a king size bed and a dresser inside if you need to. Primary bath, a lot of storage space for cosmetics, as well as a large mirror as well. So you do, what I can see here is they, did, they didn't go with the double vanity sinks. They went with the single sink and gave you a lot more counter space. So I'm assuming if you want to do a double vanity, you could probably change it out. There is room for that, but they did leave a lot of space for your counter and cosmetics. Same as the second bath upstairs, frame with shower, the exact same, except you don't have the cabinet inside the bath. You just have the separate toilet as well as the frame with shower. Now I didn't open up the frame with shower in the first bath, but I'll open it up here. So you can see the kind of tiles there in the bath as well. Going with this nickel finish as far as for the shower here. And the black pit tile on the floor. So they did a great job, great job. So both showers look the exact same. That was just to give you guys an up closer look. All right, and with that, that's going to end the tour for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.